Hello everyone. Up till now, all the techniques, uh, both from the on-page and off-page link building techniques, everything that we have discussed and seen is legal way of uh, doing SEO, or they called white hat SEO in in the other terms. So other than that, there is there are some techniques which Google does not or search engine does not approve. Okay, just to get <coughs> rankings immediately so the, there are various techniques which are called black hat SEO now uh, most of these techniques are already uh, recognized and already banned by search engine and this type of techniques will not work anymore if, if search engine finds that you are using this type of techniques then search engine will penalize you or even blacklist you that means remove completely from their database and your websites will never found in their uh, search engine results again now let's see which are the most uh, kind of common techniques that people used okay to get immediate rankings now one of the most common technique is hidden content now we have discussed that uh, if your particular keyword is uh, present on your content on your website on your web page then it is uh, relevant and it is good for search engine that's how search engine will see your website as uh, relevant and it will show up probability of uh, showing up on first position is high okay uh, but w uh, also we have discussed that uh, we should not use too many times in your content the keyword that becomes uh, negative SEO now <coughs> people some people try to use uh, your uh, their keyword okay too many times okay uh, on their page but uh, when you use your particular keyword say uh, SEO training in Mumbai too many times in your content here and there then people will not find your website uh, nice okay like the contents will not be proper and s sentences may not make much sense so people may not like it so what they do is they hide uh, this content they will write this SEO uh, training Mumbai they, uh, this particular keyword they will put everywhere okay on their on their uh, <coughs> on their page but they will use the same font color as your background as a background color so people cannot see those words but while search engine when uh, when search engine growls it can identify all the uh, written content even uh, the color is same as the background color so it is good for search engine search engine will think that oh uh, this particular keyword there are many mentioned many times in, in this page so of course this page is talking about this keyword and when people search that particular keyword then uh, high chance that the, this uh, particular web page will be shown up so that was how it was working people were using hidden content okay same as a background color if we see example here <coughs> this is one just simple example there were many examples before but most of them have uh, corrected now if you see on this top line now uh, in any website you just press control A okay if you press select all then you will see all the uh, hidden content now when you press control A okay this is how it is seen in our previous original this is how human will see but this is how search engine will see there are many many contents inside this same as the background color so this is one technique people were using but now search engine uh, notify this and this techniques will not work anymore even this uh, next is meta keyword stuffing so putting too many keywords so other than home page they just put on their key uh, on their web page like this if you can see there are too many search engine optimization around 10 and there are many SEO than a website so it's uh, it's kind of uh, uh, st uh, keyword stuffing okay so this is also not good way so keyword serving is nothing but uh, 
adding several decks or let your user do the dirty, dirty work via user generated content okay you just have to uh, add uh, just uh, keywords automatically so which is not a good technique we should avoid all these things these are the examples and the other technique is link farming so getting links from many irrelevant websites which has low on credibility so about link farming the first is not relevant to your website okay so it will be very different types of business and uh, second is the third party sites are uh, low quality websites that means I also of course it will not have page rank but it will not have uh, back, uh, much backlink also and uh, people people will not visit their website so it has low on traffic low backlinks everything but <coughs> this type of websites they want to get backlink okay so uh, uh, they want their websites to be filled uh, anyhow so it's like free submission okay so whatever you submit they will not check the quality of your submission they will just approve uh, easily okay so th those type of sites are suspicious it's better not to do uh, on those things and uh, link farming is one uh, many people kind of uh, are not aware of so if you're uh, submitting too many links in very short time uh, that is also not good like if you're building thousands and thousands of backlinks uh, in a week for just one website that is not good Google once Google gadget said oh this particular website uh, last week it has no no or very less backlinks but now just after one week they, they've got thousands of backlinks which is not relevant so it wants Google gadgets then that can hamper your website so you build backlinks timely not uh, too many at very short particular time next is doorway or gateway pages okay so basically doorway or gateway pages is nothing but uh, kind of creating uh, different pages okay for search engine and for humans okay doorway or gateway pages are pages designed for search engines and not for uh, people not for uh, end users so glogging is one of the uh, best example for uh, doorway pages okay so what they do is they hide all this uh, uh, whatever uh, JavaScript or flash or uh, whatever the images or videos that uh, they, they they were using because we have discussed that search engine is not friendly with images and f uh, videos or flash so if you use too many of those things then of course your loading loading time will be lesser than uh, uh, how to say uh, uh, search engine <coughs> will, will not like much and uh, that that is very uh, kind of lesser chance of showing up in search engine result so what some negative SEO uh, people do is that they create two pages okay f f for just for one page they create another page uh, specially designed for uh, search engines okay G Google bots so when search engine ID becomes they add, uh, as, they, uh, as they can identify they will show up different page which is kind of stuffed with keywords and when you user ID becomes still show up neat and clean uh, page okay so this is how mm, negative SEO people uh, did like this and that's how they obtain a ranking but now even this uh, search engine can very well catch this and uh, this will not work anymore <coughs> okay so we have discussed some negative SEO techniques uh, time to time there can be new negative techniques uh, we need to identify okay but uh, in order to avoid how to say uh, from affecting by this uh, Google updates because Google keep updating very uh, frequently so you just need to focus on your quality content unique content and your quality and relevant backlinks so once you do that uh, this other this uh, negative technique or this Google updates they will not how to say affect your website <coughs> so this particular this uh, by chart this shows 
the important factors ranking factors okay what are the factors uh, that can how to say uh, uh, make your website come to top rankings okay. we have seen the on page part we have discussed the off page link submission part uh, but it is said that there are around 200 factors okay for a website to rank which is nothing but there are 200 ranking factors okay so that is uh, uh, <coughs> Google's how to say Google's uh, privacy but most important most important factors we have uh, we have seen we have covered uh, in both on page and off page but now let's see which are the most important factor from this uh, particular um, chart okay so if we see from highest to lowest let's uh, start from this uh, domain level link authority features okay now this domain level and both page level these two are nothing but these are values from your backlinks okay from uh, off page submission okay now you're getting backlinks from different websites now we have uh, discussed a lot about authority then high quality backlinks etc so <coughs> the importance is uh, we can see, see it in here now 20% almost 21% are uh, depends on the quality of your of your third party website get okay, the website that you're getting backlink from particularly we're talking about the domain like if you're getting backlink from how to say uh, <coughs> Facebook okay Facebook has very uh, high page rank be a page rank 9 and very high authori uh, authority so you are getting so much value uh, from that particular domain okay and if you can get domain from facebook.com say for example from the domain itself that is the most valuable backlink set you can get not from inner page but from the domain and uh, of course the domain uh, the backlinking to your uh, domain say abc.com okay that is the most valuable and second is it's very similar but it is uh, the inner page wise you are getting backlink from inner pages okay uh, so that has a much valuable as well that that has much value so your most important factor of ranking <coughs> in uh, search engine result is uh, depends on the quality of your backlink that you're getting and the next is uh, page level your keyword it, 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 it is talking about your keyword distribution okay in your particular content so when people search say search uh, SEO training in Mumbai and if my targeting page SEO training in Mumbai has a uh, good distribution of SEO training Mumbai keyword and uh, if my content my headings my everything is talking about uh, this particular related to keyword then that has a uh, good chance of coming up in ranking and even the next point it is talking about uh, your content as well your uh, content length length and then uniqueness okay and even the load speed okay if your uh, website if your web page takes time in loading that is very bad very bad for uh, search engine okay now see Google and search engine they want everything to be very fast within fraction of second so make sure that your uh, loading page is as as minimum as possible and the next factor is uh, mainly f uh, kind of other advertisements okay offline uh, usage of brand brand br uh, domain name etc okay so they are talking about uh, uh, marketing through news media press etc so that also uh, makes uh, these things will only increase popular your website and it will increase your traffic okay and the next uh, very close <coughs> factor is it is uh, talking about uh, traffic Ma mainly will be traffic now uh, suppose in Google search result say uh, suppose you are on uh, third result okay and there are two more results above you but say if uh, majority of people clicks on your website okay and lesser people clicks on those first two results then there is very high chance that you will replace uh, the first two uh, results very soon because traffic which is nothing but people clicking on your website and staying on your website the, that is very very uh, very good for uh, search engine so if more people clicks on your website 
and the longer they stay in your website okay then you will <coughs> come to uh, top position very <coughs> soon so that is also important not just uh, showing up in uh, Google result is the end uh, it, it's the uh, uh, target a uh, GIF targeted no but people clicking on your website and staying at your website that is important as well and the next is uh, social metrics okay so whatever you uh, share in Facebook Twitter G plus etc and the more frequent you update and the more people uh, how to say uh, you keep in communication then that's uh, that has a very high value and we believe that this will increase uh, more and more in, in the days to come and the next factor is talking about your domain okay so if your domain is uh, domain name is similar to your <coughs> business then that is a uh, one benefit that you can get okay so even the other other is talking about uh, the, the domain as well okay domain name land then HTTP response time and uh, recently we have discovered that if your website is uh, uh, if you're using HTTPS then that can be better for a search engine because that is more secure okay so that's all for now we will discuss the remaining topic in our next videos thank thank you